hey hey corkers welcome back to the channel another first another park first for us today we're here at toverland i'm gonna be honest we uh we didn't realize how close we were when we booked to go efterly um we saw some adverts thought oh let's see how close we are transport here public transport incredible so we've decided to swap our days and do a full day here and half a day at efterly the ticket swapping process on the efterly app is so good so easy we just thought worth doing it check this whole park out give it a good go it's open today from 10 till 9 so good length park hours isn't it here you excited yeah should be interesting i've got to be honest from the from the outside of it i think we're going to be a little bit disappointed I do. against kind of efteling but uh, i think it's still going to have its merits there's some good coasters by the look of it i'm looking forward to phoenix and troy uh, but yeah we'll see what it's like so we're we're here early <laughs> it's 9 15 <laughs> opens at 10 so we're Get some pictures of the front end. Looks like they got like interactive wand things, a bit like Harry Potter. So I saw some wands in the shop. And it seems like there's these posters all like showing kind of wand interaction. Discover your own magic. Port Laguna. So we're in about 20 minutes before opening, so that's always good. Gives you a chance to have a wander around, take some pictures. Look in the shop. Look in the shop. We've had a look in the shop. I'll, uh, I'll go back in because there's some t-shirts that I'm definitely going to have to pick up. Um, but yeah, we're going to head over. Yesterday I asked on Instagram what uh, what rides we need to do. And kind of the reason to swap the swap the days because there was quite a few things everyone suggested. Everyone seems to suggest doing uh, Maximus Blitz Barn first. There's quite a lot of people saying that, so I don't know if that's something that struggles with kind of throughput or gets really busy or very popular so we're going to head to that it looks like it's at the back of the park so we'll probably do a bit of a, an opposite to what we normally do head to the back of this park work quite back to the front Oh, that lot of looks good. The Drayton Manor Poncho may come in useful for that one. making our way into the ride. It's nicely themed in here. It's a really nice thing, Chip. Sure.
so we've just come off Maximus Blitz Barn, which is a toboggan ride that you control the speed yourself. Really enjoyed it. What was really cool is it monitors your time as well. So who was the fastest? Wow. Um, you were a bit scared, weren't you? I've got six points on the line, so she's six. Yeah, no speed in Flinty, no speed in Flinty. But yeah, I thought it was really important. I've never done anything like that in my life, so that's an attraction. Really enjoyed that. We'll try out Villa Fiasco now. The lock flume's down, so yeah, we're going to get on the uh, Villa Fiasco and go from there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We're off. We're off. Whoa. It's all fun house. Oh, it's gone through the boring way. Let's try it. Oh. Oh, that was crushing. What? Yeah, I don't know what she's doing here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, if you wanted to injure yourself, that is the way to do it. What's that? I don't know, but that, that was quite nice. That was a second. Oh, that's nice, that is. Escalator across, I'll take that. Oh. 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 This is mad. This is madness. You've gone the wrong way. Don't worry, turn it round. Oh, wait. This one is easy. Oh. Wow, we've just come out of Villa Fiasco, like a, a fun house. It's more like a super exercise routine, like. Whew. Probably seen a bit of crazy, shaky cam footage from our attempt, but wow, that was that was a lot. A lot of fun though. Not I something. Situation. Yeah, upstairs in the situation. I didn't record them because just see uh, a lot of Lindsay's ass, and I'm not sure whether we're allowed to do that. But yeah. The uh, lock room's still down, so come back to this part of the park in a bit. Go check something else out for now. Oh yeah, that's good, isn't it? Take a little shortcut. Gotta be honest. I've got to be honest. This is a really beautiful little park so far. Twirl wind in the background. See Phoenix as well. Got a little walkway with some water. Oh, this is going in. That's a real decent poster. So, we're getting a queue, five minute queue, first coaster of the day, and we're for wind. So, we'll see what it's like. Looks good. So yeah, we just got in the queue at Ford with a five minute wait for this max spinning coaster. It looks a bit like Storm Chaser, so I'm sure to see what it's like. We usually like that one, don't we? Mm -hmm. Big fans, mm -hmm. big fans of that, so hopefully this one's good too. Five minute queue, take that. It feels like the weather's changed. When we got here this morning, it's really warm, the sun was out. 
last night when we left Eftelin was still so hopefully get all the coasters done this morning then a bit more chilled day and if it does rain obviously we've got everything done Just come off a dwarf all wind there, which was a very light nice storm chaser in the UK. Really well themed, some nice audio rifles. Yeah, nice little ride. Lindsay thought it was too spinny. Uh, yeah, I thought it was maybe it was a little bit more spinny than uh, Storm Chaser, but it seems very similar to me. Just not quite as well themed. So uh, it's nice to see the UK winning something, but uh, yeah, still really good. Onboard audio was cracking. Um, I think we're going to check out Phoenix here now, uh, the B&M wing coaster. Phoenix. In that entrance. So we're in the queue for Phoenix. Once again, it's like another well-themed queue line. I didn't see a, a timer for this though, so I've got no idea how long the queue is going to be. Yeah, it's Phoenix. Phoenix. Just like the phoenix! Oh. We do look like a wing coaster, so. Should be good. Staircase. Uh, should we go left wing? We can do both if it's quiet, you know what I mean? I mean it seems pretty quiet.
we've just come off Phoenix, the wing, B&M wing coaster. I really liked that. It was a, I liked that animatronic as you come out of the Phoenix, and then I just think it was I really good. Was good Ooh, I thought it was coaster-wise as good as the Swarm. I just think the, the kind of near misses on the Swarm yeah. make it a little bit better. Market. The coaster was good, but the only thing was that I just thought, you know, the hotel was an animatronic. The rest of it was just track, like, long area. You know what I mean? Solid coaster. That small island was really, really... Well, the near misses and stuff. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think the near misses. I think this was still very good, though. restaurant looks incredibly well themed like a hobbit hole the flaming feather look at that that's nice it's really good see if i can uh persuade lindsay get food there before we leave yeah that's really nice look at that look at that place there that's the flaming feather that surprise egg which sinks in the surprise egg Nobody knows, it's a surprise. Candy keyring and stickers. Candy key ring and stickers. No. That's a no from there, that one for sure. It's like a little kid's carousel there as well, by the way. Trumping Juno. Uh, maybe later. Lindsay wants to do Merlin's Magical Garden Tour. Mushrooms. Hello. Hello, dear. Oh, it smells very fragrant. Not the bees.
So I always say face your fears and if facing bees wasn't enough, we're gonna take on a drop tower. What's wrong with me? 20 minute wait for Dragon Watch, the family drop tower. There's nothing family about drop towers. They're abomination. Let's go. It's a very beautiful lake there, isn't it? One of the sad things about the park is they're at, they don't seem to have a waiting times on their app. There's not many boards, that well, I haven't seen any boards specifically that tell you how long you're waiting for these rides. So we're kind of free balling it a little bit. This, we use Log Ride to, to log our rides. This says 20 minutes, um, so um, it's not been very predictable. I don't know where they get their times from. So I guess we'll find out. We'll find out in a few moments. So. Dragon Lodges, the parachute site of the world. We wait for you to be soon in the I wish you luck. I hate drop towers for the best of times. Well, you go up and you drop, that's a drop tower. Give me a 14 inverting roller coaster, no problem. Party drop tower, I'm terrified. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, oh. oh. Well done, Dark Spotters. You have it at the top of the rail. Oh, oh, that isn't gentle. Oh. No, I'm like that. No, oh, oh, no, that's horrible. <laughs> Oh my god. I wish the dragon would take me away. You might be surprised to hear I survived that drop tower. You might not be surprised to hear that I didn't like it at all. Oh, no, not at all. Oh, I'm not a drop tower fan. Give me a 14 inverting roller coaster. Totally fine with that. Drop towers. No thanks.
because I've got a fair few bits of uh, interactive bits and pieces around here. Dragon in there. So we're heading up Merlin's Quest boat ride. So how busy this is going to be. Seems quite long according to the log rides. It's 12 minutes in length, so any kind of ride that length has got to be good.
So it's just come off uh, Merlin's Quest. I've not been honest, people were recommending that one and I thought when I saw it running around it was just about to uh, wonder what everyone's big deal is. But yeah, beautiful. You go through about a 15 minute experience, you go through a, a dark show bit, really nice. I thought they do that really well. And the Dutch must do dark ride sections so well. Efteling's incredible for all its dark rides and that was really good. I'll be honest, it banged my head though coming out of it. <laughs> Low hanging roof. Got a concussion, baby. It's heading over to Troy, a wooden GCI coaster. It looks huge. I mean, it does look huge, doesn't it? There's the oars. Changing oars. The GCI Woody here. Oh, what do you think, Lynn? Okay. That was that was genuinely the most intense Woody I've ever done. That was mental. 
that Antibank turn was impressive, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Incredible, incredible ride yeah, that. It was like, it was like as exciting as I was, but not as safe. I feel safe because it's a GCI, but it was a lot. Maybe, maybe you do feel safe, but every time I go on one of them, the first time I go over a hill, I'm stood up. I cannot sit in the seat. Well, that's not me. <laughs> I don't think we'll see much anywhere in the rain. I'm sure the rain will ruin it. And that is booster bike done. It's standard uh, for Coma launch coaster, just like Accelerator at Flamingo Land. Hops really poor on it, but they always are. They're like really slow. It's only one train. And, I mean, the, the queue was proper boring. So, you know what I mean? Uh, we've got one more coaster to do. We'll check that out. It has started raining. Mad how the day just changes. It's beautiful this morning. Raining was expected, was planned. Um, but yeah. The ops aren't actually brilliant here on a busy day, that's the sad thing. Last credit of the day. Last credit in the park. Two Express. Like a little kids coaster. We're all about the creds here. Get the creds. <laughs> Oopsie! So, that awkward moment when you pause an e-stop on a roller coaster because of the hat. The hat would have been fine, I'm not going to lie to you. The hat would have stayed on my head. It was only a kid's coaster. I'm going to be honest, I don't know on what planet you think you're going to take me out of. It's like when I told you, I told you to take sunglasses off and that bloody tobacco. On what planet, honestly. But what was amazing was the lap bar was like, no one here was like, I could, have, I could have got out if I wanted. There was no reason about the safety there. But I had to pull some knee stop on the lift hill. 
it was a right little kids coaster, it's quite long for, for like a kids coaster, but we have now done all the coasters. Honestly, the best one here probably Phoenix. Troy is also incredible, but the others are all a bit lame. Um, but yeah. Expedition Soul, what did you think, Lynn? I mean, it's 
Woo! Which Lockford? Oh, I like Lockford. I hate I love a good Lockford. They're very wet. And a backwards drop. Oh, it's all really. I know it's all right. Was it worth the 50 minute queue? Mm, probably not. Probably not. But it was, it was nice. It was nice enough. So we're going to head over to the other water ride, the rapids, the, the Dengu River, I think it's called. So let's take that one on. I'm not sure how we get to it there. And it's a bit of a weird waterway that I'm going to try and go through. <laughs> See if I can avoid the water. Uh, oh, well, like that. So far, so good. We've avoided that one. Comes the next one. Oh, last one, last one, last one. Can we get this over this bridge here now? Oh, look, uh, it's turned itself off just as we got to it. Oh, yeah, actually. Let's get for another biscuit. Oh, no, that got me that time. Oh, it did get me that time. We're all right this time. I think this is going to turn off before we get to it. Uh, we did it, managed it. We're on the way now to the Jengu River Rapids. We like a rapids ride. Hopefully, this is well themed and does get you wet because the ones in the UK don't and aren't. Wow, you never like getting wet. Zork was good though. The thing is, it's not even warm enough today. Oh, I think it's nice and warm. Yeah, it went dry. On that. You're not in a blender. Thank you. 
So we've just come off the Dengu River Rapids. You gotta be honest, they were very, uh, very like British rapids, really. There was, there's not a lot to them and not a lot of water. Not barely, though. You get that wet on Congo River Rapids. The rapid boats them themselves, that they were interesting. So the way they were kind of set up where you sit, it was like a trough so that your feet weren't wet, your feet wouldn't get like, you, you never put your feet in like water um, because. Yeah, the water would go in and like kind of it wouldn't get into your trough. Really good idea. I think that's that's something I'd like to see on more rapids. Yeah, we've done all the water rides, and we've done all the coasters. Uh, so there's still a few hours of the day left as well. Struggling to find stuff to do. We just had another ride on Maximus uh, Blitzbahn, about 45 minute wait, it's very slow ops, it is a toboggan but so unique, I've not done an attraction like it anywhere. Let's see a score time, see who's fastest, I know it's me not Lindsay, Lindsay did go easy the first time so I'm a bit worried it might not be me but fingers crossed, come on, here we go, here we go. So scores on the doors here, 49 seconds for me. Lindsay's on 58, so faster tobogganist me. Putting the pedal to the metal, or the pedal to the metal. I don't know how what it is. You get it, you get it. What do you think then? Enjoy that one. You need a way. Let's go to the toilet then. And that wraps up our day here at Toverland. What do you think, Linz? Oh, it's been a long one. Been a long one. Cues, cues. Yeah, cues. yeah. Oh. Uh, do you know what, right? It's a really nice part, but what I would say is the ops are terrible. Yeah, the, I think on a, it, it's like Blackpool. I think on a quiet day, it's probably a really yeah. lovely park, but we've come summer holidays and, and you feel like kind of the bad ops and the, the mm. kind of weights in between loadings and stuff like that. Stuff you go, oh, you wouldn't see that at your own park. Um, but yeah, the, like I say, Phoenix, beautiful coaster, and Troy, that was incredible. But even that, like Phoenix, I queued like probably ten minutes to get to the station, and then probably twenty minutes in the station. Because once you get into the station, like nobody knows what's going on because there's nobody just dispatching you to yeah. a row. It was a bit odd. There's definitely some choices there that you don't know, kind of. I really enjoyed Max for Splits Barn though. That was fun. You don't see them kind of things, do you? They're, they're the kind of attractions that have terrible fruit port, but a real fun. Well, right, yeah. Oh, yeah, I really enjoyed that. It was a really good park. Not not Efteling standard, you know what I mean? It's it, it's 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 a nice park. There's some lovely bits, some not so nice bits. Definitely worth checking out for Phoenix and, and Troy alone. But yeah, what did you think, Linz? What's your uh, final summer for the day? Um, I think if I come back, hmm? I'll do it during term time. Term time, yeah. Good idea. Good idea when it's quiet. Because the other problem we've got. Is because we've used public transport to get here, the park doesn't actually close till nine. But the last bus we can get back to the train station, not the last train, but the last bus back to the train station is like ten past eight. Yeah, we pretty much got everything we wanted to do there, and there were a couple of flat rides we could have done that 
would have been cool, but we weren't massively bothered. And yeah, we could have re-rowed a couple of things, but like I say, we, we're done, aren't we? We're done for today. Like I say, definitely worth checking out if you come in this kind of part of the year, the year world. Everything's amazing there. But like I say, we were going to do half a day. We would have got so little oh, achieved yeah. if we'd done half a day. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and we'll hatch you again soon. Thank you.